Piera. La Fiera Rodriguez is a 10 and 0 strawweight born in Venezuela, but now fighting out of Panama City, Panama with Serpente MMA. After running through South America's regional MMA scene, she scored a UFC contract from a dominant decision on the Contender Series. Two more victories inside the octagon puts her right outside the top 15 at 115. We got the second and final fight of 2017 for 1 0 La Fiera. She comes in against Lina Franco Rodriguez. Three finishes for the Bogota Colombia product, and her only loss to Bellator veteran Alejandra Lara. Gone goes the bell, and Piera bings her with a left hook. Franco presses forward and eats a body shot to hook. End of this exchange, Franco runs into a counter left. Seconds later, La Fiera fires off a big flurry of punches and defends a weak takedown, having her way early. Round two now, Rodriguez catches a good kick for her combination. Minute later, Pieta flashes the hands to draw out that high guard, getting smart to Franco's striking game. Seconds later, more combos from La Fiera. Franco lacks the head movement and footwork to escape. End of two, now Rodriguez has the back. She's tired, but still grounding and pounding late. Round three, we are clinched up, but a gargantuan knee by Pieta hurts Franco. And follow-up flurry finishes the job. Pieta Rodriguez puts on a striking show for win number two. Opponent had a couple takedowns early, but could not compete on the feet with La Fiera. Would have liked to see Pieta work the body a bit more with Franco's high guard, but a win nevertheless. No footage of La Fiera's third and fourth wins, both round two KO TKOs. Now first of two bouts in 2021 is for the vacant LFA strawweight title against 13 and four Svetlana Gotsik. The Phoenix Bird rides a three-fight win streak and last time out captured the WWFC belt by armbarring a girl she previously lost to. First frame, Pieta walks onto a left but answers right back with a combo, backing opponent to the fence. Minute later, La Fiera moves in with another flurry of punches, gets opponent to the mat with the pressure but wants the action back standing. End of one, Rodriguez beckons opponent back up and she's not ready for the fire coming from La Fiera. Pieta starts the second with an outside calf kick. Then both fighters simultaneously connect on their straights, but Pieta lands a left after. End of two lefts on the money for Rodriguez before a knee to the body to end the round. Pieta bings her with a stiff right to start the third. Two ticks later, Rodriguez counter lefts are landing as she steps on the gas. One minute later, punch is more labored, but both fighters still firing flurries. Slick body punch, then a short right following by Pieta. Championship frames now in the fourth. Rodriguez faints jab for the body shot. 30 seconds later, La Fiera erupts for a flurry. Big left hook to right in the mix. Round four winding down, Rodriguez knees the body, and opponent turns away. Maybe hurt from that shot. Pieta regroups for the jab, then another knee as they clinch. Gotsik wants a takedown, but Pieta shucks her off balance and mushes opponent into mount. Seconds later, ground and pound does not stop, and Gotsik done in round five. Fifth career finish for Pieta Rodriguez earns her a shiny new strap. First time going the championship distance right after her first career decision victory. Currently, La Fiera is firing off wins in the octagon. Two in a row, most recently at UFC Vegas 62 over Sam Hughes, earns her prospect status in a stacked strawweight division.